We're now going to look at example 4. It gives us the nth term formula for one linear sequence and it gives us the nth term formula for another linear sequence and the question is which term number has the same term value for both sequences. So what I've done is I've copied out the nth term formulas for each sequence. Remember un is the term value in the sequence and n is the term number in the sequence. So for the top nth term formula, the term value un is given by 2n plus 4. And in the other sequence, the term value un is given by 6n minus 4. Now, we want to get the term number n, which has the same term value for both sequences. So, how do we make the term values the same? Well, if 2n plus 4 is the term value for the first sequence, and 6n minus 4 is the term value for the second, the only way the term values can be the same is when 2n plus 4 is equal to 6n minus 4. So what we then write is term values are the same when 2n plus 4 so remember 2n plus 4 is the term value for the first sequence and that's equal to 6n minus 4. 6n minus 4 is the term value for the second sequence. So we've now got a nice little equation which we're going to solve for n. So we're going to hopefully get the term number such that the term value is the same in each sequence. So really simple equation, going to move 2n over. So we're going to change its sign so it becomes minus 2n. And then we're going to move minus 4 over to this side. So we're going to get 4 plus 4. Don't forget to change the sign. So we're going to get 8 is equal to 4n. And then divide both sides by the coefficient of n. So 8 over 4 equals 4n over 4. 4's cancel. And then 4 cancels over here. Goes into itself once. Goes into 8 twice. So we're left with 2 over 1 is 2. And that's equal to n. So what does that mean? That means the second term in each sequence will be the same. So the second term in each sequence will be the same. And you can check that. So what you can then do is you can take your value of n and sub it into each sequence. So sub n is 2, we get the second term, u2, is equal to 2, 2 is 4, plus 4 is 8. So the second term in the first sequence is 8. What's the second term in the other sequence? So sub n n is 2, we get u2, the second term, is equal to 6 times 2 is 12, 12 minus 4 is 8. So the second term in each sequence has the same term value, which is 8. So that's how you work it out. You set the term value in the first sequence equal to the term value in the second sequence and then solve the equation for n and then you'll get the term number which is the same term value and in this case it's the second term. And that's our answer.